My name's Scott Rogers. I'm Senior Agronomist with McGregor Goulet. I'm based out of the Cropper Creek Branch. This year I was servicing an area of just over 5,500 hectares of chickpeas, covering areas from North Star, Cropper Creek, Garrar and Moree. Early season heliosis control in chickpeas can be quite challenging in our area at times. One of the main challenges is the resistance out there to SPs. Probably been one of the toughest seasons we've had growing chickpeas this year. We had a bit of a tough start, a lot of frost during sort of the, the middle of the season, which knocked quite a few pods off and, and flowers off, off the plants. Uh, and then we've had a lot of rain into the back end of the season, sort of, you know, greening up some of these later crops. My name's Angus Boylo, I'm an agronomist based out of Moree, uh, work for Pool Ag Consulting. And again, we, uh, we do consult a, a wide range of crops and uh, with the chickpea price uh, again high this year, we've had a, had a big area to consult. Using a firm earlier in the season allowed me to get control of those bigger grubs that I normally wouldn't have the confidence of an SP being able to pick up. And also picking up those bigger grubs, we're also stretching out our first application, getting residual control, anything up to um, two, three weeks. In some cases with the lower pressure we had this year, I was actually finding myself getting three, four weeks residual. Uh, with another big season of chickpeas going in this year, Heliothes has obviously been a been the, the hot topic and uh, it's an important sort of aspect of our, our management program for the chickpeas. This year we, we didn't have a lot of pressure early on. However, at the back end of the season we've found that we've had a, quite a few, few hatchings of, of Heliothes. As most applications earlier on in the season were applied with a fungicide, we had no compatibility issues, mixing was fine. With a few escapes from synthetic pyrethroids, I turned to a firm being a, a group six with emmectum as its active ingredient, provides a, a different mode of action and it has control on both armidra and punctigra heliothis. Although the majority of use that I had with the firm this year was early in the season, with the sporadic populations of heliothis that were coming through, I did find myself also using it mid and late season in chickpeas. Again, getting good residual control out of it through both different timings. I also used the firm in canola this season, uh, targeting diamondback moths. It was giving us really, really good control in diamondbacks, which can be a real challenge for us out there because there are limited opportunities to control your diamondbacks at times with the products that are currently out there. This season, a firm has been a, a flexible and reliable alternative, which is, has given us confidence. I'd have no hesitation in recommending a firm to other consultants and growers. A firm's giving us a good early season option when we're quite often struggling to control those early pests with SPs. It's robust, it's economic now, so yeah, I find it a highly attractive option.